52 tips for, again, near north crime stoppers. Well, the third and last of three Catholic churches slated for closure in North Bay held its last mass last Thursday. Pretty much a packed house at Corpus Christi Church on Castle Street to well, partly celebrate and largely mourn the end of what was a beloved part of the lives of hundreds, if not thousands, in North Bay. A difficult night for all involved as it was the end of a long era. It's very difficult. Difficult for, for everybody. Uh, we have a, what you call a senior parish here, and uh, you've seen the good turnout we had this evening. That speaks for itself. It was a surprise at the start because we thought we would remain open, and uh, it's been tough. A lot of people are hurting, and uh, we just life goes on. We'll have to move forward, but it's, it's been tough. A lot of people are grieving. Well, we're a strong community. We're very, very, very active. I'm stressing the word very. Uh, seven nights a week. I'm here quite a bit, uh, uh, just uh, in certain capacities. And this church is going every night. Uh, we have uh, different rooms and settings throughout the parish. They're busy every night of the week. It was a shock to the persons here in Corpus Christi when the word came out that we were closing. Uh, we know the situation that the bishop's in, and uh, with the downsizing uh, required, but this was a shock. This is, it's got so much in the way to offer the facilities itself in the church. Uh, and over and above that, uh, a large parking lot. We got uh, all new furnace equipment. We got uh, an elevator that uh, serves a purpose. As you look around yourself, you would see outside all the senior buildings. A lot of these people were concerned. I know myself, seriously, uh, I think a lot of people would not be going to church because uh, this was home to them. This was their life, and it, it's tough, very, very tough. That's hard, but uh, it's, it's, the city of North Bay is not that big, and, uh, and we're very fortunate to have three churches. We can go at a different time. We'll know people at all these locations. We won't be strangers, and uh, I'm so used to traveling all over northern Ontario didn't go to different churches, but I'll be welcoming a uh, and uh, and uh, St. Peter's, and I'll see friends from Corpus Christi there. Oh, boy, um, well, I was just, I was just thinking about, uh, um, you know, I was very sensitive how the people are feeling. I know there would be a lot of sadness there, but I wanted to, uh, my focus is to encourage them to be, to be hopeful, to be optimistic, to that you know it's not the end of faith but it's you know there's there's still more, more you know there's more life there's you know or the as we move to a new place is you know we got to think of it as, as an adventure you know it's, it's, it's and that, uh, that we have is that dwells in us inside regardless of what building we're in but uh, but i mean i can understand their attachment to the building because they've been here for so long but uh, but i think the people are past that point where they know they have to go on and uh, tonight, I just really wanted to them to leave with a uh, on a positive note, you know, with a with a as I said, my wish for them is that they leave tonight with a with a deeper a deep inner peace, you know, and a, 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 a greater confidence in God's love for them, and that you know He's still with them, and you know He has new things for them, and, and everything's gonna be fine. Well, I was really impressed with the service, Father. It's always Ken. It's always been a great priest, and his sermon is. Yeah brought out the fact that when people follow me, uh, the, uh, the, the and when the Tanaka was door was open and you look in there and it's empty now, the hosts are not there, that really made me sad. Before that, I accepted it very well. Once again, the new year was... <laughs>